meet this myself, you know. So, think about the offer I made you yesterday. What offer? Did you really forget? I was gonna, I want to buy this house from you. You see, in a few months you're gonna have your own kid. This place ain't no, no place for a kid. So I'll gladly buy the house from you, Arthur. You know, James, I really appreciate the offer, but me and Cassidy just settled down. We're about to have a kid. I, I don't think I can sell. Listen, I'll swing the deal. I'll pay 13000 for the house, more than double of what it's worth. You know, James, I just, I just don't want to sell. You know, I know I might have said something that made you think otherwise last night, but that might have just been drink talking. Fine. Keep your damn house. You probably wasted wasted on whiskey anyway. Lydia, we're leaving. James, James. What the hell you want? I see Arthur's house. It's in flames. And the necklace I saw of Cassidy's, it was among the ashes. Damn. He's not getting the house no more. James, you wouldn't you didn't burn his house down, did you? No! How can you think that of me? Call me a criminal? I will never burn down his house. Arthur, I've been looking for you. What happened? Where you been the past three days? I was at a job in Montana. What the hell happened in there? Cassidy, your daughter. They all passed away due to the fire, son. Fire? What do you mean fire? How could that have happened? I don't know, but we're suspecting arson. Arthur, my friend. Sorry to hear about your family. What can I get for you today? Uh, just give me whiskey. Whatever he wants on me. Thank you. No problem, Pancho. Me just myself, you know. James! James! Where are the gamblers? Where is James? James, James only comes on Tuesday and Fridays, you drunk. Watch it! Oh, my friend, I don't want no problems. Damn it! Hey, give me a drink.
there. Show yourself. Where are you? Show yourself, right now! How the hell are you alive? Cassidy? Why did you kill James? How the hell are you alive? Are you died with Annabelle? Just, just relax. Just tell me, why did you kill James? I'm just supposed to let him kill my wife and my child and my entire family? I'm just supposed to let him get away with it? But that didn't bring us back, did it? I guess not. I'm sorry. You can just come visit me instead, bring me some flowers. I'll do that. I'll bring the purple ones. since I was a little younger. I never really got too much into it. You have any questions? Let me know. I'm going to ask about these things. Well, my, my wife and baby girl, they, they died a couple days ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but just now I saw her, my wife. I, I was walking from Stevensville to the station. You got to cross that bridge? When I was halfway through it, she appeared out of nowhere. I got to talk to her for not under a minute before she disappeared. Well, what does it say in the Bible about what happens when you die? When people die, like your poor wife and child, as long as they were good people and faithful to God, they go to heaven. It's like a paradise. But how did I see her just now? And wait, my wife and girl are in paradise while I'm stuck down here? Listen, I don't know how you saw her. Do you, are you drunk or something? You smell like it, to be honest, sir. That's not... I, I saw her with my own two eyes. We hugged. I've never heard of that before. I'll take this. Be well with the Lord.
are you? What are you doing here? You know, she's happier now than she ever would have been with you. You lowlife. You've been running around this country, drinking, wasting away, when I was the one that killed her. If she couldn't be with me, she wouldn't be with anybody. Whatever you want's on me. Thank you.